The final exporting feature in fireworks, if I draw your attention back to fireworks, the final exporting feature is another option actually called export preview. Rather than simply choosing file export, there's actually an option under the file menu called export preview. Before we choose this option, I'm going to access another file. I'll choose file open and let's go in and access a file that we have not yet made web ready. So to do that, I have on my website folder here a folder called source ping images, something I've mentioned in the past is important to do because you'll always now know where your master file formats are located. We're going to go ahead and choose this item right here. We'll double click it to open it right within fireworks. And you'll notice what we have here now is a file that we can on its own export for the web if we choose to do so. We're going to go back under the file menu and choose export preview. Now the difference between simply exporting and choosing export preview is you'll notice with the export preview window we now have a lot of the optimization features at our disposal and at the same time we can export right within this window. All we're going to do is simply choose some of these options here and get this image ready for the web. One thing we'll probably want to do first is downsize the width and height dimensions of the image. You'll notice in the top corner here above the preview of my image I can see the file size is quite large at the moment. It's 154 kilobytes, way too large for the web. This single image, remember, should on average be no larger than 10K. So in order to downsize this image, we can do this right within the export preview window. If I draw your attention to the file tab, we'll select it, and you'll notice, well, here's the problem, here's why our file size is so large. The image width and height dimensions are specified at 800 by 600 pixels. So we're going to downsize this. Let's downsize this to 178, and notice when I press the tab key, Fireworks automatically constrains the proportion of my width and height at the same time. You can deselect this if you don't want to do that. But now I have an image that's downsized in width and height dimensions and also note the file size. Much, much better.